Hi Trinity, it's Palm Sunday. Only one week to Easter. I, I don't know about you, I love Christmas, but I really need Easter. It's a really busy week if you work at a church like I do, but it's also a time to reflect and think about God's love for us and Jesus' ultimate sacrifice for us. Welcome to any of you that may be visiting Trinity this week. I'd like to invite you to any and all of our Holy Week worship opportunities. Wednesday, April 17th is the Seder meal at 6 o'clock p.m. You can find a registration form in the lobby or contact Jim Ebert at Trinity. The Seder meal is a great family activity which provides a lot of insight into the Passover observance in Jesus' time and how it influences our Christian faith today. On Thursday, April 18th, Maundy Thursday, services are at 8.30 a.m., noon, and 7 o'clock p.m. Good Friday, April 19th, there's a children's service at 10 a.m., the Treor service from noon to 3 p.m., and the Tenebrae service at 7 o'clock p.m. Easter services begin with a traditional service on Saturday, April 20th at 5 p.m., traditional services in the sanctuary Easter morning at 8, 9.30, and 11 a.m., and contemporary Easter worship in the East Gym at 9.30 and 11 a.m. Here's a message from Andy Trosper of the Trinity Roselle Foundation and how they can help you plan for the future. Did you know that only 60% of legal-aged adult Americans have a will? And a whopping 71% of Gen Xers and Millennials do not have wills. We should all be planning our legacy. Trinity Roselle Foundation is trying to make sure Trinity members do not follow these statistics. As a result, we have reached out to some of you recently via phone calls and we offered a free seminar last month. We will again be reaching out to some Trinity members in the coming weeks to offer free, professional, confidential assistance and encourage each of you to not be a part of the statistics quoted earlier. Our hope is that you will take our call and let our experts, John Kelm or Ray Pagels, help you plan your legacy. Thank you. I think my wife and I may have to talk about this. Our will might need a little update. I'm pretty sure it doesn't even mention our third child, and she's married now. So, sorry you're going to miss out on that big inheritance, Kate. The Trinity Church Council invites you to our 2019 congregational meetings on Sunday, April 28th at 3 p.m. in the church sanctuary, and Wednesday, May 1st at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Family Life Center. Church Council will focus on three areas, giving and finances, update on the Imagine campaign, and the Senior Pastor Transition Plans. Please join us for one of these meetings. Community Care Day is coming up on Saturday, May 4th. Please help Trinity show our community that we care by volunteering to spend a few hours helping your neighbors. You can volunteer as an individual, couple, family, small group, whatever. We've got a place that you can serve. Please stop at the Community Care Table in the lobby and check it out. Now here are Mark and Erica to tell you about Relentless, the big youth gathering that took place last week here at Trinity. The 2019 youth gathering was a tremendous success here at Trinity. Hundreds of teenagers from all across the state from different churches came together to worship our great God. Absolutely. It was amazing watching all of these teens come together to worship our God, screaming the songs out loud during worship, getting into the Word of God in our class sessions, and then giving back to the community through our service project. It was an amazing weekend. Mm. And Brian Drake, the illusionist, was awesome, and you were great when you talked as well. Thank you. And painting freedom. Mm. And painting freedom. <laughs> it was a great weekend. Hope to see you next year when we bring back the Skit Guys.